Hello everyone, my name is Hussain Tahan al -Kua. Today I'm going to be presenting our QI project, which is a resident-led initiative to improve heart failure readmission rate by targeting factors of social vulnerability. Heart failure affects more than 6.5 million Americans, with an estimated half a million new cases diagnosed every year. Readmission continues to be one of the highest burdens on the healthcare system in the United States with an average cost of $14,000 for each hospitalization and $31 billion annually. Heart failure as a disease poses the highest risk for rehospitalization among other medical conditions. Data showed that the risk of readmission in patients with heart failure is 22% within 30 days. Factors that increases a patient risk of readmission are often linked to social factors such as healthcare illiteracy. The aim of our study is to improve heart failure readmission rates in our hospital by 5% within three months. In partnership with heart failure nurse practitioners, a survey was distributed to all cardiology attendings at our hospital to identify the most pressing healthcare disparities in our patient population. This data, along with the American Heart Association and American College of Cardiology 2022 Heart Failure Guidelines, was used to design the PDSA-1 education-based intervention. In January of 2023, a peer-led interactive workshop was used to train residents on identifying and addressing healthcare disparities among patients with heart failure in our hospital. A dot phrase was created and shared with the residents to document discussing heart failure specific clinical status and factors that could contribute to increased risk of readmission with patients prior to discharge. The primary outcome is to measure change with hospital readmission rate among patients with heart failure. The survey showed that 60% of the cardiologists answered education and understanding of the disease as the most important factor contributing towards healthcare disparities among CHF patients. Other factors including medication non-compliance, non-compliance with diet and poverty were also listed. When asked which intervention would have the most impact on addressing these factors, 60% of cardiologists answered patient education about the disease. This slide shows the dot phrase that was created to help the residents document education prior to discharge. Important factors that needs to be documented including education about new medications and medication side effects, follow-up plans, lifestyle modification and diet restrictions, as well as the importance of medication adherence. Heart failure readmission rate at our hospital was 18.8% .8 in 2019. Our project aims to identify and address social factors that contribute to high readmission rate in heart failure patients. Future PDSA cycles will focus on educating other healthcare providers such as floor nurses. Furthermore, we would design a more integrated EMR change such as mandatory heart failure documentation checklist linked to discharge diagnosis of heart failure exacerbation. Post PDSA-1 
intervention data collection is still ongoing.